Hello, I'm Rebecca Masti, a policy analyst and attorney with the Michigan Catholic Conference. Together with numerous pro-women and pro-life organizations, we formed Citizens to Support Michigan Women and Children to defeat Proposal 3. So what is Proposal 3? Let me explain. Proposal 3 is an amendment to insert 323 words into our state constitution. It was crafted by a coalition of pro-abortion groups led by Planned Parenthood and the American Civil Liberties Union. It seeks to place unregulated abortion through the moment of birth into the Michigan Constitution. If this amendment were to pass, Michigan would become the abortion capital of the country and have one of the most permissive abortion laws in the world. When it comes to our Constitution, words matter. With Proposal 3's amendment, words really matter. For example, this proposal never uses the word adult to describe who would be impacted. It confers an explicit fundamental right to every individual without any age limit. The ballot proposal summary says the proposal would, quote, invalidate laws that conflict with this amendment. Parental consent would likely no longer be required for teenagers seeking an abortion. Many other laws would also be in jeopardy, including the state law that requires abortion clinics to be licensed and inspected to protect women's health and safety. Late-term abortions would be allowed because the proposal includes a vague mental health exception. The language allowing someone to aid or assist in an abortion likely negates the current requirement that only physicians may perform abortions. Disturbingly, the proposal's language could also prevent authorities from taking adverse action against someone that harms or even kills a woman during an abortion if she voluntarily consented. So as you see, words matter. This radical proposal even confers a constitutional right to sterilization for every individual. Invoking this constitutional right could allow a gender-confused teen to obtain sterilizing procedures without parental consent or even knowledge. I urge you to read the proposed constitutional amendment for yourself. You will see what many others are realizing, that it goes way beyond what Roe v. Wade ever permitted. Help us to protect women, children, and families by opposing this extreme amendment to the Michigan Constitution. Vote no on Proposal 3. Thank you.